can say is I'm glad that I did a pre-Christmas book haul because this is ridiculous. Why did I ask for so much stuff? Christmas has been and gone and I'm sad about it because Christmas is my favourite time of year. I love it so much but as you can tell by the title of this video I have a book haul to show you and there's a lot of books, so I'm just gonna get straight into it. The first book that I'm gonna talk about is actually a poetry collection, and that is Sunshine by Melissa Lee Alton. This is shortlisted for the Costa Book Prize for Poetry, and Jen Campbell is one of the judges, and she did a video talking about the shortlist. And she read a few little snippets from this, and it sounded really interesting. I've had a flick through it, and it has quite dark and interesting um, themes going on in there but I'm interested to sit down and fully immerse myself in it and fully read it cover to cover and I just think that this cover is so beautiful. The next two books I have to show you are both by David Williams and that is Mr Stink and Demon Dentist. David Williams has started writing for children and he seems to have this ability to just churn out books but they always seem to do really, really well in the charts and things, and they always get really good reviews, so I've finally taken the jump and decided to read some of them. So Mr. Stink follows a girl called Chloe who becomes friends with a tramp, and he moves into her garden shed. Demon Dentist is about how children put their teeth under their pillow when they fall out to leave them for the tooth fairy, but when they wake up, instead of money, they have things like dead slugs and spiders and creepy crawlies there instead, which sounds terrifying, but I'm guessing this is basically finding out who's behind all of this. The next one is another book that's shortlisted for the Costa Book Prize, but this time for children's fiction, and that is Time Travelling with a Hamster by Ross Welford. If ever a book needs to win an award solely on the name, this is it. How brilliant is this title? <laughs> it follows a boy who is struggling to cope with the death of his father and he discovers that his father built a time machine and he basically plans to go back in time and prevent his father's death from ever happening and he takes his pet hamster with him on the journey. Then we get into hardback book territory. I have so many hardback books, I don't know what I'm going to do with them all. The next one is The Land of Stories, an author's odyssey by Chris Colfer. I can't talk in too much detail about this one because it is the fifth book in the series and I don't want to spoil it. But basically this series is about these two children who go into a storybook and it's full of all of the fairy tales but they're different to how we know them. So they've got nice, really clever, interesting spins on them and things like that. I've said many times before how much I absolutely love this series, but the fourth book was such a letdown for me, but I'm still continuing on with the series and giving it a go because I'm interested to see where it keeps on going. I don't actually know how many books there are meant to be in this series. I don't know whether that's been stated or not because there are a lot of spin-off things for it as well but I'm solely just reading the books and it's just such a pretty hardback. The next one I have to talk about is The Wonder by Emma Donoghue. I've not actually read any Emma Donoghue before, but this is new and seemed really interesting. It's about a girl who basically just stops eating, but she doesn't starve, she isn't malnourished, she just keeps on self-sustaining even though she's not eating and obviously the media get a hold of that and there's someone who comes in to basically prove that this girl is a fraud and that this whole situation is a hoax. So I'm really interested to see what will happen in this one. The next one I have to talk about is The Good Immigrant by Nikesh Shukla. I really hope I've not just completely destroyed that name. This is a book that I've heard a lot of people talking about and I got a sample of it on my Kindle and read that and thought it was brilliant so I asked for the full book. It's a collection of essays written by people from different ethnic minority groups tackling the stereotypes behind immigrants and arguing you know if this is what is perceived as a bad immigrant then what is a good immigrant and it's just basically people telling their different stories of why they moved to different countries, how their 
how aspects of their culture has been lost in other different parts of the world and things like that and from what I read of it, it was really interesting and I did learn a lot solely from like the few pages of just one essay that I read so I'm really intrigued for this because I really enjoy reading kind of essay based things like this where it's broken down into little sections so I'm really hoping that I do learn a lot from this one. The next one is not going to be surprising in the least if you follow me on social media or you know me at all and that is the screenplay for Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them by JK Rowling. I absolutely love Fantastic Beasts so much. I was so apprehensive going into it because I had such high expectations for it and it was everything that I dreamed it would be and more. I actually like it a lot more than I like some of the Harry Potter films and it kills me to say that but I love Newt Scamander so much and he's Hufflepuff and I just, uh, I am so down for four more films. So down for it and yeah, I'm just looking forward to reliving the film but obviously in the screenplay format so that's gonna be good. The next book that I'm going to talk about is The Muse by Jessie Burton. I haven't read The Miniaturist because it didn't really appeal to me that much even though it got really really good reviews so when this one came out and it sounded a bit more interesting and more like something I would read I decided to ask for it for Christmas and it's kind of complicated to explain but it follows this character who she becomes a typist and she takes this job up at an art gallery and then this painting is delivered to the gallery that has been missing for quite a long time and it's basically uncovering the mysteries of this painting. I'm not sure whether this is something that I'm gonna like or not but I'm taking the plunge and I'm giving it a go. The next one I didn't actually ask for for Christmas but my mum got it me anyway because she is the nicest person ever and that is Tim Burton, the iconic filmmaker and his work. This is unauthorised, which means Tim Burton had absolutely nothing to do with it, but I absolutely love Tim Burton. I'm not a really big fan of creepy things and things that are horror, but I really enjoy Tim Burton's films and I love the way that you can so clearly tell that Tim Burton's had a role in it in some way. And it's basically just the behind the scenes of every film that he's ever worked on whether he wrote it, he produced it, he directed it, he was just an artist for it but this book is super up to date because it's got a section on Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children so it must have like come out really recently to have all of this in it I love Miss Peregrine so much Cool factoid, I actually started reading the Miss Peregrine series because I knew that Tim Burton was going to be directing it but I didn't expect to love Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children as much as I did and that series broke my heart. Oh, oh my gosh this is heavy! Ah, That was my Christmas book haul. What did you get for Christmas? Are any of the books that I mentioned here and what are you most excited to read in the new year? Let me know in the comments below and I will be back with a new video soon if I don't collapse under these books. Blah.